just an ugly game. I mean, multiple turnovers on both sides of the ball um, for Vikings and the Niners. Sam Darnold hits the longest uh, touchdown pass of the year so far. Justin Jefferson got a little banged up. Um, Bosa got banged up, I believe. I think he's okay, right? Yeah. Um, the run defense just looks soft for the Niners. They couldn't stop the run. Bosa did have some mistakes that um, broke some big runs on the outside. Brock Purdy, he's holding the ball really long. And that's not his game. He's really getting out. He's supposed to get it out quick. Brandon Ayuk, I think, is still getting his legs under him on the season. Now Debo's down. McCaffrey's down. How concerned are we for the 49ers right now? Well, behind Debo and Brandon Ayuk, it's Jawan Jennings, who is a very, very good number three. But he's not a guy that's going to get open. You know what I mean? He's a guy that's going to fight through to make the catch. But he's not a guy that's going to get open. Who else do you have in that in that wide receiver room that can go out there and be like, okay, I'm gonna run around, I'm gonna create separation, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get this. Not a whole lot of people. So it's like you're very limiting yourself just because you're so top heavy on that. I like the utilization of George Kittle, but I don't think that every week is going to be a George Kittle week just because you do have struggles on that offensive line. You do use him as a sixth offensive lineman. So some weeks he's going to have to just stay back and block. And so that's a little cost for concern. Uh, without Christian McCaffrey, there's no backup running back now. Garindo has already proven that I don't think that he's got it. I don't think maybe he gets better throughout the season. But behind Jordan Mason, there's not a whole lot there. Maybe you elevate Breda and get him slots and see what he can do because it's been a few years removed since he's been in this offense. It's just right now on the defensive side, they just got to figure it out. Let's let's figure it out because maybe O'Connell, Kevin O'Connell just has Kyle's number and this defense's number because we do see that in the league sometimes. There's those guys that we know when we go up against uh, X matchup, I got this. Don't worry. And maybe O'Connell's just one of those guys. Yeah, I, and I here's the thing with the 49ers offense right now too. They are kind of scrambling putting these pieces together because all training camp, Brandon Ayuk's not there. You have McCaffrey. You have Ricky Pearsall running with a lot of the ones. And then you take away Pearsall. You add in Ayuk. You take out McCaffrey. Like now everything's so jumbled up and there's no cohesion in what they had been working on. So now it's like, okay, on the fly, let's get people involved who like we're not used to working with. And I think now they need to go to like a Jacob Cowling. They need to go. Jawan's going to be basically the number one until Ayuk gets up to speed uh, because he didn't play in any training camp, no preseason. Yep. Can we get Ricky Pearsall back soon and get him involved? Like it's really going to be a battle of trying to get the offense going. And you don't even have that run game to rely on because what are you going to do? 30 carries a game for Jordan Mason. And then he's going to get hurt. Like, you don't have McCaffrey to fall back on. So it, it's a little concerning, but I think the talent is there on the defensive side of the ball for sure. And they have some easy games coming up. So I, I'm not fully hitting the alert button, but like I'm probably a four out of 10 right now. Yeah. And I mean, you got to think like this is a team. It does make sense because they played a lot of football last year. They played in a lot of big games. And I think there is something to be said about a Super Bowl hangover, you know? Yeah, and I think that's all we have time for to talk about today. But I do want to say this Eagles game, uh, losing to the Falcons, ridiculous call to throw it to Saquon at the end. I, I just wanted to say, but we don't have to talk about this game. The only thing I want to talk about is pre-game Dallas Goddard saying, you know why they invented sidewalks? Because not everybody was made for the streets. And then going out and losing to the Falcons. Oh, my goodness. That is yeah. the best yeah. clip of the NFL season right now. How are you going to say you're for the streets and then lose to the Falcons? I like the the, the rant that Kyle Brandt went on uh, earlier today where he was talking about like how the E and ESPN stood for Eagles. He was like, they wanted them to win so bad. like It was there. Everyone's like going for Eagles. Uh, Kirk Cousins can't perform in prime time. And what does he do? He lights you up in three plays, dices you up, and gets the team into the scoring position. Like, it's true. All right. Well, that's all we got for today. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and we'll be back for more NFL news and college football. So.
See All right, later.